Hey folks, Smithy again. Um, doing another video from the car. This format seems to come naturally to me for some reason. Um, so, if you watch one of my previous videos, you would have heard me say that um, the local stores don't do a great job at, um, at stocking stuff. Uh, they really don't. Um, I mean, getting newer stuff out takes forever. But every once in a while they pull through. Like I said, around Christmas time, stores actually, they actually start putting some new stuff out. So I was just in and these things were something I was looking forward to from Power of the Primes. And they were also really cheap. Um, got two of the Prime Masters. We have Vector Prime and Metal Hawk and Micronus and Cloudburst. They did not have Skullgren. I was kind of disappointed. I wanted to get all three of them and do them all in one video. Um, Skullgren might get his own video now. But, yep, this is what we're doing. So we're gonna start off with Vector Prime. And, let's see. Oh, wow, that's, uh, things are packaged weird. Ah, there we go. Pop that out, pop that out. Pop that out, and pop that out. There we go. Okay, so, give me a quick second to throw this together. And, you know, actually no, we don't, won't do it that way. So, we're gonna start off with Vector Prime himself. We have little bitty Vector Prime right there. My camera is not focusing on him too well. Um, standard Titan Master type of thing. Um, they basically took, basically what they did with the uh, the Prime Masters was they took the Titan Masters and then rather than giving them face on the back, they have their Prime Insignia on the back. Um, so uh, you can just take a power, you can take a Titan's Return figure and actually put that in as their head if you really want to. It'll look a little weird. But you can actually do that. And actually, um, uh, Liege Maximo and uh, Skullgren. Theirs actually kind of looks like a face. Um, actually, is it this one? Yeah. I, no. This one. See, that's the insignia for uh, Liege Maximo. So, I mean, yeah, it kind of looks like a face. So, you could do something weird with that if you really want to. Or, you know, it could just be like a Prime's way of taking over a body or whatever. I don't know how they're doing that. The whole story behind the, the Prime Wars trilogy but it's um it's odd but the thing that i really liked about this line was they basically decided to revisit the pretender shells um this is what was this one this was metal hawk armor i guess um the basically these uh these uh prime master things they come with the prime and then they come with some, like a body armor for them and they also come with a little gun. Now, the way these work is just like, you know, you would expect you pop them down like that, you know, open them up, put your, straighten out your Prime Master, just pop them right in there like that, and close it up. And you can even, you can even kind of see his face in there. So, you know, then you have your Pretender, basically. It's a new version of a Pretender. And, you know, very, very little articulation on them. I mean, you, you can do the thing with the arms, but I think that's actually more articulation than the original Pretender shells had. So, you have that, and then they come with a little gun here, and they can wield the gun. I mean, it's huge and ridiculous, but they can wield it. What they're supposed to do with it, though, is these actually click into place on their backs, right behind their heads, just like that. So then what you're supposed to do with them is flip this around like that, flip down the handle here, and they are also a target master. And these are actually decent as far as target masters go. I mean, they're very reminiscent of like the G1 target masters of it's literally just, you know, flip them down, fold out the handle, and put his gun barrel up. But yeah, um, any deluxe, actually, actually he's got the same, uh, They've got the uh, same size uh, handle as the same. It, it would actually fit in a um, in a Legends class figure. So you can have them with a huge gaudy gun if you want. But there we go. Um, 
yeah, I mean, seven bucks. Seven bucks is all I paid for this. Wait, was it seven or six? Seven bucks. So, you know, but I got it at Toys R Us. Toys R Us is always more expensive. No matter what you're buying, increase it by at least a dollar, if not two. Toys R Us is always gonna be like that. But yeah, there is Vector Prime with Metal Hawk. Um, we'll take a quick look at the other one right over here. Uh, let's see. I really hate that they're adding the whole, ah. Not only are they glued onto the cardboard thing, but they're also taped onto it. It's a complete pain in the tush. There we go. Um, now, hopefully, down the road a little bit, I'll be able to start getting some deluxes from this line. I hope these guys maybe will start carrying them. They have the they have the tags up for them, so they should get them pretty soon. So here we have what's this one? This was my, one was Micronus. I want to make sure I'm getting all their names right. We have little Micronus here. Come on, camera, focus. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can see if I can frog my camera here. Yeah, it won't focus on it at this angle. This is why I need a camera. But um, no, they did a decent job with them. I mean, just like like just like with um, Vector Prime. Um, you know, decent detailing, little painted face, which you can kind of see in this camera that there's a little bit of blue on his face. See, see the blue on his face. God, that is so annoying. All right, and you know these guys. I think I covered it on him, but. There was, um, you know, same kind of articulation you'd expect. You know, arms can go up, legs can do the leg thing. Um, just like with, and you know, we'll uh, take a quick look at this one now. Just like before, pop that open, slide him in, put the damn arms down. These guys actually hold into their armor very, very securely. It kind of worries me. You just flip his armor up, open. All right, give me a second. He's he's a fighter. There we go. And there is Cloudburst. Um, I don't know. I think I kind of like Cloudburst's look a little bit better. I think I think I like the colors a little bit more. And then, of course, you know you have his uh, little double Gatling gun here, which he, of course, can hold. Talk about little man syndrome, huh? And just like with um, Metal Hawk and Vector Prime, you can click that onto the back like that. Flip out his handle, flip his gun down. And this one, unlike um, unlike uh, Metal Hawks, this one actually pegs into place once it comes down. It has like a soft click in. So there you go. And there's his gun mode. And you know, if you really want, you can actually extend his um, extend his arms up like that. And you know, you now you have like iron sights. If anybody who knows anything about guns, iron sights are iron sights are um, basically what the older old school guns had, like the old West guns, where it's literally just you know a metal bit on the end and then the metal bits on the back. So you line them up and there you go, you're sighted in. Um, but yeah, you can you can kind of do that. Um, another thing that uh, they they actually do show this on the back of the box. Um, if you take your little Prime Master out. Which is not easy. Ah, ah, there we go. So one you can one thing you can do is I don't I don't know why they do this, but they can. Um, you flip him into gun mode here. Roll up your you know have your extreme Robo Yoga Prime Master. God, these legs are tight. And then he still has the little ports on the bottom of his feet like the Titan Masters did, and he has two little pegs right here. So what you do is you line these up and he actually has a little spot for his head to sit in and now apparently he has Micronus's power directly into the gun blast. And Micronus's power is power swapping. Okay, so apparently you can load Micronus into his gun here and shoot him with a beam that switches powers with you. 
Okay. Works for me. I mean, I ain't the one who writes it. So, yeah. There we go. There we go. There are two of the Wave 1 Prime Masters. Um, all in all, I like them. They're entertaining. Um, I really like that we're getting, getting a revis of the Pretender shells, even if they are, like, really, really tiny in comparison. I mean, the old Pretenders were, like, <laughs> they were huge. But, no, these guys are all right. Um, I actually like them. They're pretty entertaining. Um, I think, I think honestly, it'll be really cool once I get my hands on a Leader Class Optimus, just having him, like, you know, Prime Guns! <sighs> I'm overthinking it, I know. But, yeah, there we go. That has been the Power of the Primes, Prime Masters, Vector Prime with Metal Hawk, and Max, Mic, bleh, Micronus with uh, Cloudburst. Cloudburst? Cloudburst. And this has been the Smithy. I'll catch you next time. So, I just pulled into my driveway, and I just wanted to add this on real quick. I was throwing the boxes for the Prime Masters away, and I read Vector Primes, because I wanted to know what his supposed ability was. And it's time travel. So does that mean when you turn him into his little gun mode, does that mean that he can literally shoot you and have you warped to a period in time? Or does that mean he can freeze you in time? Kind of like, you know, Sonic, Sonic and Shadow's uh, chaos control. Or, just by shooting you, can he aid you into rust? It's an interesting thought, actually. But I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna go away now. Bye.